keep it clean head to powerhousewheels.com for all of your rim and tires needs a custom discount code you can find for you is down below in the description on that note uh, speaking about cars somebody who was designated the opportunity in the job to protect the lamar lamborghini was guard john simpson and john simpson last year for the baltimore ravens he had an interesting year when you look at numbers like grades and pff and all that stuff it will say that he had a pretty good year if you look at the games you say he had some he had some good moments he wasn't bad but i thought he had an okay year but i'm no film guy so i could be completely wrong about that but regardless of whatever kind of year he had he is getting paid Somebody who at one point thought he was going to have to walk away from football. And it's a good thing that he didn't because he ends up cashing in with the New York Jets. So he goes from protecting Lamar Jackson to protecting Aaron Rodgers. Uh, and he gets a two-year deal worth up to $18 million. That's very, very, very nice. Something that was highlighted in this from Tom Pelissero last night. He said, John Simpson started all 19 games last season for the Baltimore Ravens at left guard where he's expected to play in New York now. I always feel that with people who sign offensive linemen from the Baltimore Ravens, you have to be, 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 be beware. Beware of the fact that Lamar Jackson is not your normal quarterback. What I mean when I say that, obviously he's much better than a normal quarterback, but with Lamar's ability, a lot of times, not saying it's about John Simpson, but just a lot of times, Lamar Jackson and his ability can make an offensive line or an offensive line men better than what he may be. Uh, reason being because, say for instance, a defensive lineman, they get past an uh, uh, offensive lineman uh, and Lamar makes them miss. He scrambles out of the pocket or something or does a little dance in the backfield or something like that and makes that defender miss. Then while the offensive lineman gave up pressure, they didn't give up a sack. So it goes on their uh, stat sheet as, oh, I ain't give up no sack. I'm straight. But if that's a not-so-mobile quarterback and that same defensive lineman gets pressure and gets through, they not getting away like Lamar Jackson can. Now, I'm happy for John Simpson for getting his money because, hey, I'm happy for anybody getting their bread, but it's just something to think about. And, and this proves literally that health is wealth. And what I mean when I say that, John Simpson – he was healthy literally for every single game last season for the Baltimore Ravens. Like Tom Pelissero mentioned, he started every single game for the Baltimore Ravens, all 19 games, because it was 17 regular season games and then two playoff games. He started all of them. Starting, starting center Tyler Linderbaum, he missed a game early on in the season. Right guard Kevin Zyla, he missed some games. Right tackle Morgan Moses, he missed time. Left tackle Ronnie Stanley, he missed time. So all those guys, the whole starting offensive line, they missed time throughout the season, but not John Simpson. And now he cashes in and gets a new opportunity uh, to go to uh, the Jets and a hopefully healthy Jets because that's something that really destroyed the Jets last year. Obviously, first game of the season when Aaron Rodgers went, that went down, that literally ended everything for them. Um, they decided not to make a move at the quarterback position. Uh, and I guess Aaron Rodgers gave them some hope, like, oh, maybe he can come back. But that obviously didn't happen, and the season was wasted. It was well, not necessarily wasted, because again, you you expect Aaron Rod you expected Aaron Rodgers to play, you expected him to be the guy. Uh, but when your starting quarterback goes down, I mean, it, it, sometimes it can be limited on what you can do. But I think they should have been a little more aggressive if they wanted to try to salvage that season last year. But hey, I'm not the GM, I'm not the head coach of the Jets, I'm not none of that. Uh, so we'll see how John Simpson does. Hopefully he does well over there for the Jets and he can reach the max potential uh, on his deal. He can get all $18 million of it because that would be some bread well earned.